Okay, so we have a right angled triangle, and we are asked, if we read down, ignoring all these thirds for a moment, we are asked to work out the exact area of it. So we're going to be using the area of a triangle, half the base times the height, but of course for right angled triangles, uh, we have the base and the height are two of the sides, so that should be quite straightforward, I hope. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, we're given the base of each triangle, that's the two root two, sorry, root two over two, and we're given the height of the smaller triangle, and we're going to need to find the height of the bigger triangle. So let's just read the question carefully. BDR, AD equals BD equals root two over two. So let's put that on here. Don't know why they haven't put that on there. I suppose they want you to deduce it from the question. There we go. Now, to find the shaded area, it's one triangle minus the other. So let's write that down so that we can show that we know what we're doing. So that's going to be the area of the big triangle, which is ABD, minus the area of the smaller triangle, which is ACD. And in each case, it's a half the base times the height. So let's have a go. So that's a half of, right, for the smaller triangle, it's there, sorry, the bigger triangle, it's there's the base, and there's the height. In fact, they're the same, aren't they? So that's a half of uh, root two over two times root two over two, minus, and then for the smaller triangle, the base is the same as that, root two over two, and the height is root three over three. So let's put that in, a half, the base, root 2 over 2, times the height, root 3 over 3. And that is the exact area, but we're going to need to simplify it a little bit. OK, so let's look at this first one. On the top, we've got 1 times root 2 times root 2. And the whole point of a square root is that when you multiply it by itself, you get the number under it. So on the top, 1 times root 2 times root 2 is 2. And on the bottom, I've got 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. OK, so that's the first one. You probably spot I can simplify that. I'll do that in a minute. And for the second one, right, on the top, I've got 1 times root 2 times root 3. Well, there's not a lot I can do with that, apart from, say, root 2 times root 3 is root 6. And on the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. And we can, we can just simplify that a little bit. Uh, with my green cancelling pan, 2 over 8 is 1 over 4. And so I get a quarter minus root 6 over 12. And I don't think I can simplify that anymore. You can't cancel the 6 or the 12 because one of them's under a square root and the other isn't. And that is that.